August 17th, 105 p.m. Our uh, fluidized bed gasifier here is going along quite well. We've got a massive, uh, you can see the sand being fluidized down there. You can see the pellets as well glowing quite nicely in the shadow that we formed. It looks like some pretty good secondary combustion as well. Flames that are not appearing until they get to the top of the, uh, the vessel. You can also see some flames that are coming up from the bottom. So I turn the air down and see what happens here. I can still see some motion of the sand particles down there. We are fluidizing to an extent. The big question I have with this style of gasifier is, is the air worth it? Because uh, it takes a fair amount of energy to generate compressed air and to use that to fluidize the, the bed. I want to make sure we're still um, we're not just throwing energy away. That we're actually getting more energy out of the, the gas to run the engine than what it takes to compress the air. That's a, a concern. And one of the things we're looking at experimenting with is mechanical fluidization, where we, phys we mechanically stir up the bed instead of using a jet of air. But we're going to try this first and, and see how it works. It looks like it really had a, a chilling effect on the process by turning the air down. I don't see much in the way of secondary combustion anymore. Let me turn the air back up. Yeah. You can see the little sand particles getting fluidized. Yeah, I don't think we're getting much air on the left-hand side. We're getting more now. Yeah, it's stirring up that biochar and the sand. It's fluidizing better. Again, the whole idea of a fluidized bed is to keep a very good mix of materials down there so heat is evenly distributed, and so is the combustion. We'll watch this for a while. Yeah, yeah, it might, yeah, it might be a good time for more fuel. See the gas is being emitted by the pellets. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> the cloudy vapors. And pretty soon we should see this ignite and get more secondary fire at the top. There we go. We're getting, getting nice flames at the top now. One of the things we've noticed with this is how important it is to keep an even feed of pellets going into it. <clears throat> Large batches of pellets dropped in at a time tend to make for erratic operation. That's something we'll have to uh, focus on when we automate this process, is how to do it so that the feed rate going in is nice and steady, be a good continuous operation out of it.